OTAs are finally here. Yes! <laughs> We finally got to see Ryan Fitzpatrick in a Washington football team helmet. He seemed like he was having a lot of fun out there. And we also saw Kyle Allen and Taylor Heineke out there as well. It's nice to see the guys coming out in OTAs, especially when they're not mandatory. What I also thought was very interesting was the fact that Brandon Sheriff was president at the OTAs as well. With all the stuff that's been going on with his contract and, and so forth, it's nice to know that Sheriff is out there showing his leadership. Of course, Chase Young and Montez Sweat were not present. I'm sure they'll be ready and they'll be present come mandatory season. Now, Coach Rivera in his press conference earlier today was talking about how that they were kind of shifting the linebackers around a bit. It looked like our first round pick was playing the mic. Again, Rivera using his favorite term, position flex. He wants to know that his linebackers can obviously play more than one position. And Rivera went on to say that when it comes time, for training camp to start, these guys will settle into their positions. Also look like Matt Lionitis is back. It's so good to see him back. A lot of people had forgotten about Lionitis after his injury last season, but he has certainly been one of those guys who have been a very valuable asset to that defense. And seeing that that defense was already pretty tough to begin with, just having Matt back there, it's just, it's good to be awesome. It also sounds like the defensive back so far have been having a great OTA. They're just flying all over the field and they're really being very passionate, which I think is, is so great to see, especially when it comes to OTAs. Also looks like that there's some experimentation going on with Troy Apke. They're wanting to put Apke out in the corner to kind of see how he does out there. As all of us fans know, Troy Apke was kind of a liability back there in the in the secondary at safety, so possibly putting him at corner, we'll, we'll see what he can do. But so far, it sounds great. I mean, it sounds very promising. Think about having a very solid secondary along with that defensive line, of which we all know is already solid and hopefully having a linebacker core that's going to complete the whole defense. And on the offensive side of the ball, we're seeing our newcomers, John Bates and Samus Reyes, out there playing pretty well in OTA so far. Reyes called a very good pass, and John Bates has been practicing pretty hard as well. So it's great to see those guys out there trying to do what they can, trying to use all the the very valuable time that they have to learn and to get better. Now, of course, there are also some rumors going around that, you know, since Julio Jones is not returning to Atlanta, so it seems that, again, the Washington football team always seems to be tied to these free agents or, or guys who wants to be traded. And sure enough, there's also been some rumors going around that Washington might be interested in Julio Jones. I don't think that that is true right now. We've got such a crowded group at wide receiver as it is. I mean, look at it. We, with our additions of Curtis Samuel, of Adam Humphreys, and of course, the Nami Brown, who we drafted this year. And then of course, Terry McLaurin, and you got the guys coming back from injury last year and Calvin Harmon and Antonio Golden Gandy. And then you got the Sims guys. You got Steven Sims, you got Cam Sims. Although I don't think that Steven Sims is gonna make the team, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of say that now. I don't know if there's gonna really be room for Julio Jones, but certainly if Julio was interested in coming to Washington, he, he's the type of, guy that you would want to make room for but I, I think right now I think we're pretty much set at wide receiver I don't see us trading any any draft picks for yet another wide receiver so exciting stuff that's going on in OTAs right now I'm just so glad that we're that much closer to the new season we're almost at the end of May right now you got June July and then August you're getting into training camp so it's not too far off, folks. Hell to the Washington football team. Let's go Maniacs. And speaking of Maniacs, if you would like to become a Maniac and support this channel, please consider subscribing and also visit me on Patreon.